Hey, nice week. Maybe. Should be like acid, little acid tabs, huh? Yeah. Some. Well, she's just writes on afterwards and she didn't overspray it. Be alright. How much do you gotta eat? Yeah, I don't know, man. It just depends on what to put on it. It tastes like perfume, too. Okay. Apparently, there's a fluoroscope of some sort under which inmate mail is inspected. You know, they smell perfume, they see a spray, and they fold it up and deliver it to the inmate. I was assured that I could give a signal and they would pluck me out of there. This is the cavalry? A couple of freaking frack, Tweedledee, Tweedledum chuckle nuts. This is my, my backup. They bring me a handwritten note that says, call me. Now I have 60 killers looking at me going, what the hell just happened? This is jail. They don't bring you notes. Hello? Hey, Steve. Hey, yeah. Steve. Yeah, I'm here. How you doing? What's going on for me? I have about 10 minutes before I blow this up and shut this whole party down. All right, the whole signal thing, you know. <laughs> we'll be right in. We'll take care of you. So, um, we saw you give a signal. That's why we sent in. The guys appeared, checked in that everything was okay, and got the impression that things were okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Ok
I just want a toilet that flushes. <laughs> That's why it's been messed up for over a month, but they ignore it. Over and over, four guards, two shifts. I'm right now. We need a plunger for one on Plunger? You're not gonna have grown men in here smelling each other's feces. It's not right. A plunger. No, fix it. Fix the problem. Bring it right back out. Thank you. Thank you. No, you did it, right? Yeah. A lot of stuff is happening in this jail, you know? CO's getting beat up, stuff like that. But the most craziest thing, like, kind of scary, is that this facility is built on Indian burial grounds. So it's haunted. What is it? Something grabbing me? So yeah, I was like, somebody was just running their hands right to my hair. Oh, hell no. <laughs> 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 We would hear somebody run up the stairs. I'm like, what the f Hear a toilet flush sometimes. That crazy. It might sound crazy. I think I got violated by a ghost. <laughs> There's a lot of evil demonic spirits in this place. Like, I don't know. That's why I be like, I need to go home. When I was in prison around age of 18, I started with the Latin Kings and I was the enforcer. So pretty much, whether it was a violation or a green light, my role was to enforce it. And here I am, the enforcer for the Chicanos on 100. I'm in the top ranks of the top gang. But it's, it's hard to have that power. Robert came in the unit and when a Chicano comes into the pot, I gotta let him know, yeah, you know, you have to follow your race, your people, and the rules. Started talking to him and greeting him. That's when you really find out who that person really is, you know? When you stole steaks, good uh, meat, like what? Uh, More than $600, they said? What? Damn. I feel bad for him because even if it was a necessity of of money or where his background, where he's come from. Even though you're a criminal and you committed a crime, you're not a bad person. Someone stole two sodas, one one day from Tyrus, and then another one. Who did it? I have been in here all day. Oh. Another soda's missing. As a matter of fact, we've been here this whole time, right? I checked before I left under. Who been in here? What's crazy? Man? If someone steals from me and they get caught, if it's my race, I'm gonna have a meeting with the rest of my people, and we're either gonna we're gonna handle it in a certain way, and he's probably gonna have to go to another pod. No, 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 I can't let this happen twice. I can't let this happen twice. Not this. Yeah, this and if it's somebody else's race, they'd be forced to handle it all. If they don't take care of it to the way I like it, then me and my people and their people gonna have an issue. It'd be a race riot because you're harboring.
Thief. Nobody's been here for one person. Who was that? That's him. Being the enforcer in the pot, I might have to take control of this situation. Let it was stolen from you yesterday. Now it happened again. I don't know about that. Yeah, and after all, I saw that here. I'm not playing that, man. I've been checking it because I know the gonna steal again because they ain't get caught. I've been watching the movie all the time. Since I've been here, I've established enforcer role in my own race. So I had to, you know, do what I had to do. You got a sickness or no, bro? No. Was Coco you drinking yesterday? Yeah. I had to vomit from the weekend. You gotta go, bro. You gotta go. Yo odio el pillo. Yo odio el pillo. No me gusta. El pillo es un cobarde. Eso es una cosa de cobarde. Bravo. If you steal from me, my man, I don't care anybody in here. I'm doing dirt. Listen, let me let me rephrase that for you. Let me rephrase it. I'm gonna beat the out of you, okay? And I wanna jaw you and drop you. I don't give a what any of them say. I'm a man. If you steal from me, I'm gonna beat the living Indian out of you. Did you steal from him? Did you steal from him? And stop lying, bro. I was the one that had to put the pressure on Robert because nobody else could put fear in him to say the truth. We'll pay the debt off, bro. Stop. All right, there you go. That's it, man. Look, that's it. Sorry. Don't do it again, bro. I knew it was you, bro. Don't do it again, man. You don't got to steal any of him, man. All right, man. It's not. It's not I know. Yeah, but we feed you in the table, bro. Don't let nothing else be missing from you. You might have a sickness, please. You got like an urge. Or, I don't know, what is it? Sickness or something? Like, probably. Probably, it, it is, man, it is. He's wrong for stealing. And of course, he got rolled out. Yeah, man, don't, don't do that, bro. In the outside, I'm a chaplain. But in here, I'm the enforcer. Tyrus, he leads the king folks. He leads the blacks. He's a hustler. And he's, he's doing what he does, you know? He has a little store. You know, I just be having so much commissary, so I just make a, a, a slight transaction and with people who eat they, they commissary so quick. I'm like, I'm gonna give you this, and I just want two back. Let me see what you got left, please. Hello? <laughs> Me and Billy like to call Louisiana the extortion specialist because he'll do everything two for one. So basically, it's like you're getting a payday loan for $100 and you got to pay back $200. How many of these back? When it comes to my money, I don't see colors, I see green. You want to know what's going on? Yeah. Is this thing in yeah. <laughs> Cha-ching. <laughs> money signs. <laughs> close friends to me, but really is like that one friend that you like vibe with. <laughs> with with Prince, we connect on on a different level. You want that toast too? Hit it with your foot. I realized I literally shared a moment of pure joy and laughter with somebody. Towards the end, it's gonna be a bittersweet moment <laughs> because I was blessed to be connected with Willie and I want the best for him. <laughs> yeah, so talk to me about, you know, like, what can be used to actually, like, make things? You can make all kinds of stuff, it just depends. With, with, what you what you think and what you create, just make something up. But th that's what it is. You can create some stuff in here. Yeah, we make dice out of toilet paper. We yeah. make dice, uh, screw them out. We only allow half a pencil, but we usually put a whole pencil, two pencils together to make a whole one. 
That's two pencils in one with paper, you know, with toothpaste put together. So you take extra string, paper, and you make your grip for the pen. We improvise and we make a pen out of it, which resembles like a shank, but it's not a shank. It's for us to write. Just improvising. Little things like that that matter in here. I'm ready to get the out of there. I'm sick of the I'm sick of my mission. You know, find the big drug people did that. I'm done with following the rules. Dylan is more of a hipster. Grew up in a black neighborhood type white boy. You know what I mean? Just cool as he vibe better with the black culture. One of the rules of jail is the woods do not eat with kinfolk, which are African Americans. Man, listen, I'll give a f about no politics. The rules, you know what I'm saying? Like, do you want to sit at the table? Honestly, bro, the choice is totally up to you. running one race and then moves on and jumps to another race. But you can't do that. David welcomed Dylan with open arms into their group. Josh wanted me to talk with Dylan as a person that holds a position of authority. Dylan, he doesn't want to get wrapped up in the racist stuff. You have to stay with your race. That's how it is. So I don't understand why David kind of encouraged the situation. I've been asked for two sides. Have you? Yeah, because Josh wants me to eat with either kids folks or white people. Oh, Prince. I mean, to go back up. He's not comfortable with white folk. What's your decision? What are you going to do? I can tell Josh real quick, and then I have to see what's going on here. I'm going out, Dallin. I'm out, Dallin. Yeah, yeah. Dallin. 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 Why won't you kill me? Dylan said he's going over to Kenfo. It seems like David doesn't care. Which one was you in before you came in? You was in G? I know you was in G. One of You was in one? Yeah. My homie over there. I, I thought he was with him. For real? Yeah. He's from uh, New, New York. York. Yeah. yeah. I, got, I got into it. Real? What? Over here, cut, bro. You told Bishaw that Abner is your boy. Right? Yeah, yeah. Does that compromise you or Abner's cover story? Can were you able to explain to Bishaw how you would have known Abner or that Abner could have been your boy? Uh uh. This is easy. I just say I know him from back in the day. We from the East Coast. He's not gonna question nothing I say. Nobody in this pot to question nothing I say. Charles, what's up? Bishaw. B Shaw's leaving is weird because his whole demeanor had changed. So I could tell that he basically didn't like what was going on. Ratchet is like on my A list, a DL. I'm thinking in my head, like, if he only knew, like, I'm a sergeant, I'm on a SWAT team, I'm an FTO. I done did it all, man. So it's like, he don't even, he doesn't know that course, but like, wish I could just say something to him. I'm gonna holler at you in a minute when you get a chance on some one on one. Just let me know when you're free. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just let me know when you're free. I don't wanna, I don't wanna talk about anything. 
So Bratcher pulled David out. Um, I don't know what they spoke about. You know, what I need to know is, if we put you back in, that we can trust you. I know the truth. I know what actually happened. Everybody can't handle the truth. Everybody don't deserve the truth. It's my decision. You are gone for a long time, bud. Did you at any point during that conversation reveal who you are for real? No, not necessarily. Because that's the word amongst the DOs is that we got a cop in there. We just can't take that yeah. chance. The last thing we want is to turn the inmates on us. So today you're going to get released. Prince! I was awakened by Prince, Prince, they want you. As I walked out the door, I started to realize, like, OK, is this good? Is this bad? I don't know. We heard that you talked to some DOs. Uh, no, not like that. Not about anything with the production. I mean, we got the story like he told me the names of the other people. He gave me his name. And this dude's a cop. Mm -hmm. I didn't do it to throw anything under the bus or throw the whole production out there in the window. The thing is, is it got him freaked out. Those little conversations put a lot of things in motion. I don't know what we're going to do with Mark, because all it takes is two DOs to start talking, yeah. and another inmate hears it. Boom. So today, you're going to get released. As good of a job as David was doing, I just can't risk the safety of the other participants or my staff. We have no other choice but to pull David from the program. Now that David is gone, something's getting ready to pop off. David welcomed Dylan with open arms into their group, but I don't know that he understood the ramifications of what he was doing. There's been an order from the people in charge of the whites. Apparently, Dylan is a target. Yeah, that's not, not just a smash. Yeah, yeah, that's a life life situation. Yeah. It's not some small hit. It's freaking beat the crap out of him until he's got to be taken out by life flight. I really fear for Dylan's safety. And I'm also worried about the whole pod. Because you don't know if it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one fight or if it's going to turn out to be an all-out war. Ratchet is with the Whites and is stirring up a bunch of hatred towards Dylan. He wants to say something mean because I David knew Dylan was breaking the rules. He said that nothing would happen to him. Now that David is gone, it's chaos. When you ever see Rapid with a box and his hands kind of rolled up, never. That's a battle stance right there. If you look at what the ratchet's wearing, he's prepared. If Dylan gets life flighted for running Kinfolk, it's going to happen in the Thunderdome because that's where the security cameras have limited visibility. I'm worried for Dylan. Dylan could very well lose his life. Thank you. 
They attacked Dylan because if you go against your race, you're going to get punishment. So it just shows the pod is only getting more and more dangerous. Hey, B-Shaw's here, dog. So B-Shaw came back to the 100. That made me nervous because he knows that I know David and it's dangerous. I just want to talk to him and see what he knows. B. Shaw confirmed that David knows me. What the, what are you, are you stupid? I don't know you, you're a kinfolk, you're undercover. You just blatantly snitched on me. I can't believe it, you know? David was a cop, like, <laughs> there's no excuse. Huh? It's following me, I know. You gotta wait. Okay, you gotta wait. I could feel the shift the tension in the place. I saw Billy standing in front of my cell, signing to the other side. And I know sign language. And I'm watching the letters he's using. He's waiting for confirmation and it's not his people because he didn't say what. He said, see, sí, Chicano. They're waiting for the green light. And I'm not stupid, I've been doing this for years. So it was like, uh-uh, it was not good. He was targeting me. When something serious like this happens, it's almost like a trophy. You know, we got the snitch. I had to sleep with one eye open because I didn't want when someone went by to attack me. So before that even happens, you know, it's like, I'm, I'm going to home. <sighs> so this morning, I raised a distress signal and when I walked out of my cell and saw the other inmates already up, then they're usually not up. That was the confirmation, Doug. Once I stepped out that cell, it's on. You know, so it's like, they're just waiting for the signal to attack. So the mad dog right there. Immediately, I knew when they were sign languaging that it was time. So I was cautious to be by the door and making sure that I could see the mirror and whoever comes behind me. dangerous and last night it was God saying you're done I'm a man at the end of the day and I did this like a man and I'm gonna stand on my ground how I did 60 days in 
David was the one that blew my cover. Yeah. Full, full blown it. Like, are you stupid? Yeah. You deliberately did what you did. When you were listening to Mark talk about you, do you think that was a fair characterization where he's basically saying, look, he's putting Dylan at risk here. He's Negative. putting him in danger. Negative, of course not. Because had he known the whole entire situation, he would never said that. It just looked like that based off of what his head was telling him. You get what I'm saying? I wouldn't say what my head was telling no, me. No. I would say the just the the race the race was telling me. Well, um, I mean they going. I by mean the I, head, I was though. being told on my end, he, he's gonna be jumped if he if he pledges to you guys. And there was communication, actually going to the yards, uh, and when I say yards, I mean prison. And it came back that they were to life flight him out. You know, this was one of a, a few incidents where. David actually thinks he's bigger than what's going on. He, he thinks he can, like, do his thing. And when he did that, someone had to pay the price for David bringing him in. Which seems to be a and, revolving theme around David. Well, I didn't really bring him <laughs> in. That's the thing. See, that's why no, we're here, to clear the, the air. Rules. No, no, because yeah. I'm a secondary. I got a head above me. Am I correct? Yeah, I didn't call that shot. I think you had more influence than you realized and you could influence him to, hey man, we can hang out and stuff, but you gotta, you gotta follow the rules to an extent so you don't get beat down. Now, David, you quickly earned the trust of the inmates in your pod, but one choice you made had a direct impact on one of the other participants, putting him at risk. Which one was you remember before you came? It was a G, I know you said G. One. It was a one? Yeah. My homie over there. Um, uh, I think he might run with some kind of thing. Yeah. I'll talk about it too with him. You told B Shaw that Abner is your boy. Right? Yeah, yeah. Does that compromise you or Abner's cover story? The footage speaks for itself, but my thing is, what were your intentions? Honestly, and this is being honest, no malicious intent. I literally lost sight of myself. I literally was thinking, you know, that's my homeboy. We both from the, and I remember saying, like, we both from the East Coast. I know you ain't woo 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 For that, I apologize, because I really wasn't. That was just a mental, mental lapse, and, you know what I'm saying? If you think about it, look how I'm saying it. I'm saying it like it's okay, like it's cool. I'm not saying it like, right. yo, go him up. You know what I'm saying? He did it, did it, did it. I was just talking yeah. in general, you feel me? But I understand that your intention was not malicious, but that's the difference between me and you. I've been there. Talk about the threat that you felt. When I read the sign language, it was Chicano, green light, program, snitch, yeah, confirmation. And one of the, the letters he used was S, K, you know, like saying shank. And I was like, they're waiting for a shank to come from the other side. I, 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 I'm not here for that. I literally was just talking, yeah. I got lost in that. Though. Well, and I'm gonna. And one of the things that you struggled with is the more power you got, the less things mattered to you. Yeah. Right. Mm. And you can see it in your face there. You're like, nah. It's true. Whatever. Can you understand why For Abner sure. was so upset and I'm angry? Only, I would never question it. You're correct to be upset at me. Yeah. There couldn't have been a worse person to say it to. <laughs> <laughs> Bishaw was like. <laughs> Anybody else I could have pretty much covered. If you told a Chicano. And then you had problems with him. I, I, oh, yeah. I didn't know until he confirmed it was you. Yeah. And that's why we were all talking, because he brought up, he had a little squab. I'm like, well, ooh, you know, I'm like, oh, man, what? But you do take responsibility. For sure. No for, question about it. For what you did and yeah. what happened. Yes. Do you forgive him now that you? Oh, of course. Not only sure. as a Christian, but I know his caliber. And that's, that's not him. I know it was in malice. But it's like, I, I, here I am, I'm like, man, he, he's got to know some street smart. But then again, I'm like, oh, he's in law enforcement. He's no. in the streets. <laughs> he's in the streets. No. But he's, he's a good guy. But he's not you, the bad guy. Not.